Hi, my friends. Let's talk about different professions and your profession too. The profession you have or if you don't have a profession now, let's talk about your future profession. What profession do you have or what profession do you want to have? I can also ask you what profession would you like to have? It's very interesting to know it. Do you want to become a doctor? Or maybe a teacher, a manager, a businessman, a designer, a programmer. You know, there are so many interesting professions. Okay. I want to tell you a short story. First of all, right, it's a story which I took from my life. Really, it happened to me. So, this story is true. It's based on real facts, real facts, okay? When I was 13 or 14, when I was a teenager, I also have um, some plans about my future profession. I looked at my mother's profession. I looked at my father's profession too. My mother was a doctor at that time and my father was a businessman. I didn't want to become a doctor I don't know why, but it wasn't very interesting for me. Of course, I respect this profession. I respect doctors because they really help people. They save people's life. Z not life, many lives, not just, not just one life. So many, so many lives during their life. They 
support people. Okay, I thought I had um, another talent or I had other talents or different talents and uh, I wanted to be a manager a manager it was interesting for me and uh, I wanted good money my plan was to get three hundred dollars monthly or three hundred dollars a month or every month it was my plan so it seemed really very big money and really at that time maybe 15 not 15 18 years ago this money was very big much more than now okay I also tried to work as a reporter or as a journalist and uh, a sales assistant but some time passed and I understood yeah I also worked as a manager or I want to be more precise as a manager's assistant and uh, I understood that job wasn't for me I felt routine and um, little money it seemed only big money but not big growth not big development I liked teaching much more and I felt that uh, I could be a good teacher or maybe one of the best English teachers of course not in the world not in my country but uh, maybe one of the best English uh, teachers in my language school in a small place okay and I chose teaching because uh, it was uh, about more money if you are a professional teacher and uh, I really liked it and uh, I also wanted to help other people I thought 
that um, I had this talent teaching and I chose it. Okay, what about you? What talents do you have? I think money money shouldn't be in the first place. Do what you really like. Do what you really like. Yeah. Choose this profession which you really like. Maybe it seems little money, but if you become a real expert, money will come. Okay, it's very important not to make a mistake here. Look at your hobbies. Look at things you do and things you like. I know that most people think okay money is in the first place but I don't think it's right of course it isn't in the last place but it isn't in the first place too. Okay, I want to say that you need to see your talents or talent. You need to discover your talent and only if you really like it, if you really want to do it professionally, you can do it really well. I believe uh, it's also important to help other people. Okay, you know, they say tastes differ. We agree. But it's important to choose the best profession for you. And it isn't only about money. Maybe you have um, a very special, a very interesting talent. You need to listen to your heart. You need to listen to the voice of your heart. Of course, it's good if you have a job, if you have a profession and you get money. But it's much better, maybe a thousand 
times better when you have a job, when you have a profession, when you get money, and when you really like it, when you enjoy doing it. And really, I wish you this thing, my friend. Thank you.